you're probably wondering why you're spread out in across three tables, right? Yeah? You are probably wondering, how's the, how's the morning going for you guys and the afternoons thus far? How was the morning going and the afternoon? How was the collective? Everyone's fine? I want your energy levels to be a bit higher. Yeah? Hence, you're in a circle so you can cross formulate and vibe. Cross vibe. Cross vibe. Anybody who wants a new business idea, cross vibe. You know, it's, the internet name is available, domain name is available. So, so take it while it's still hot, yeah? My name is Douglas Hamadishi. I'm a Chief Clinical Information Officer, as well as a broadcaster, dad, and all that good fun stuff, yeah? But I'm here to, let's break down what has happened over the last few hours and see if we can turn around a failing business, okay? With all our expertise, let's see if we can turn around a failing business, right? So, out with the old and in with the AI. What do I mean by that? If you take a look at business models, supply and demand, they have gone through a seismic change over the last 10 years. AI has come in, machine learning, all these models that we traditionally look at for having goods in and services and selling to our customers is changing and has changed. So this is all about us recognizing that change and understanding that out of that change comes new business models, new ways of doing business, okay? What are these new business models? And I want you to start thinking not only about this imaginary fake business I'm going to tell you, but seeing how you can adopt some of these lessons in your own working environments, okay? So just a quick recap. This morning, some of the key themes we talked about diversity of thought, experiences, partnerships, social and economic factors, legislation, all of these things are underpinning technology, right? So you've got to have that in the back of your mind somehow, okay? And let me introduce you to Muck Duggies. Muck Duggies is a failing hamburger chain, okay? Change the name, pretty great. <laughs> That's what you really started, right? It's a failing burger chain. You know it's competitors already. You kind of know it's landscape. The graph is going this way. You guys have to turn its fortunes around, okay? So that being said, I want to give you clues in what areas we're going to start to reframe the fortunes of McDuggies. Do you guys understand? Yep. You're all in accord? Fantastic. So who's heard of the transformational economy? Yeah? Cool. Who knows what that picture is? Oh my God, there's always one DJ, isn't there? <laughs> the Bernie Man. Do you, does everyone know what the Bernie Man is? Yeah. Right. It's like Glastonbury on steroids, right? People go into the desert and have these transformational experiences of thought, visual, senses are in, in, um, <laughs> chat, oh, in, excited. They might take some stimulants and who knows? But the whole point of this transformational experience is they go there believing and thinking one way but coming out fully transformed, okay? So think about the transformational economy. So I'll break down some other examples of it. So it's not just about creating experiences for your customers, right? Transformational experiences that change the way we think and feel, yeah? How we think and feel. Think about Dougie's burger joints. Right? How can we think about implementing or putting an intervention that can change the way our customers are thinking and feeling? Examples of that are CrossFit. Any of you gym guys or women? Gym people? Yeah? You heard of CrossFit? There's a culture around CrossFit, right? Once you get into the vortex, you're buying the spandex. You are changing the way you eat. And you're telling everybody you're going to CrossFit. You evangelize CrossFit. You can't, I don't know anyone that's gone to CrossFit and hasn't told anybody they're going to CrossFit, right? So start thinking about that, right? You want people to evangelize Dougie's failing burger joint, 
right? So in a transformational business model, they value experience before theory. Yeah? Yeah? They value relationships before politics. They don't get involved in these types of, of things. When you go to Burning Man event, go to Glastonbury, people don't really care if you're black, white, gay, straight, whatever. They're going there for the experience, right? And so forth and so forth. So survival before services, roles before jobs, rituals before symbolism. We talked about in diversity, people might be given positions just because of protective characteristics that they did nothing to earn, okay? Um, work before vested interests, participation support before sponsorship, okay? So I want you in your groups, right? We're going to go through these four different elements together for five minutes and think about this transformational economy. How can we embrace that, those concepts into doggies, failing, burger, joint, to boost sales and engagement for our customers? So you could talk amongst yourself for five minutes. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So we've got gr three groups now. Group A, Group B, and Group C. We, we, we've got to keep, 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 keep to our timings. So Group C, go first. Could you nominate somebody to go to the flip chart and just break down what elements you're going to add, yeah? What, you, what you're going to do, what you're going to embrace from the transformational economy to change the fortunes of Dougie's Burgers. Okay. With my esteemed colleague, that we're going to have Mike. Okay, sorry, sorry, if you pick up the mic, sorry. So we've agreed, we're going to have a transformative experience where essentially it's going to feel like you're walking into an Apple store, but it's actually a burger joint. So it's a tech hub. So when people go in, they have, they can be productive and eat at the same time. So that's one. So tech. So it's a tech hub. Burger joint. Okay. Okay. The next bit is what we're going to. What if they drop, uh, they drop um, food on their. Uh, oh, there'll be IP68 <laughs> rated. It's fine. All, all the products. So we're, we're good. It was covered. Um, the next bit we would have. Um, we were talking about. Um, you could create your own burger based on your calorie counting. So, okay. specific dietary yeah, specific, but it would be right. 400 calorie burger or meal. So you'd plug it in. It'll be yeah. an app experience. You say, right, I've, uh, I've been on CrossFit. I can only eat 400 calories today. Yep. So, so it's go there. Created, so so yeah. it's, it's tailored. Yeah. Um, and then the last bit was, we started getting a bit crazy, but we were thinking conveyor belts and you could 3D print the burgers and you could see it being <laughs> printed, keeping okay. with the second, so 3D printing. 3D printed burgers. But you, yeah. from, from app, so you say, right, this is what, what my burgers look like, like going into a Krispy Kreme. You can see the Excellent. donuts coming out, but this will be burgers coming out. So you get the experience. You can see it through a window. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Can we get group B up? Thank you very much. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> so we're not doing replication or, or replicators and Star Trek stuff here. Um, but what we were talking about is, you know, the, the feelings of the customer, right? What's the, we we're talking about having a street food, uh, street food vibe type of thing to give the, the customer the feeling of, you know, um, just evoke whatever feelings they want to. But it seems to be the trend at the moment that people like going to street food and, and, and getting stuff there. And I'll write this up in a minute because I can't, like my phone, it doesn't compute for me. Um, we're also talking about being transparent about our sourcing and, and um, giving more information out there so people can go out and get stuff, whether it's from the, the products and how we source it, but our supply chain being, mo uh, being more um, green and our, sus our social sustainability with things like electric vans, all that kind of stuff for deliveries and, and things like that. So again, um, what's in what's trying to provide what's what people want, right? Or what people um, want to hear about stuff and actually doing something about it in terms of social environments and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
I think that's really about all we got. We that's didn't great. quite get very far. No, that's just, great. Yeah. That's great. You crack on. Um, group A, if you could add your comments as well. You have to on. There you go. My, my, my leg hurts. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're moving so swiftly here. Yeah, so we, we had a couple of ideas. Just grab the mic. Oh, yeah. Yep. Probably, everyone could probably hear me, can't they? Anyway, we had, a, <laughs> we had a couple of ideas. Um, and I think for me, one of the major things was, was childhood magic. Um, kind of drawing on kind of other kind of burger restaurants, restaurant experiences from my childhood that really still resonate with me almost like the disney or burger joints oh wow you know so you go there and it's maybe isn't adult uh, orientated but it's a an experience for the child and it takes you through great example rip off <laughs> is from if you ever visited the rainforest cafe in london you can yeah. get 25 pounds for a burger which is probably quite a lot and i don't think it's i don't know how good that is um the, the quality of the burger but it's a childhood experience that you're going and you're always going to remember that. Um, and then we spoke about um, the environmental aspect of uh, what you might be eating as well. So you could have a, um, a burger and it could be um, uh, sourced in an environmentally friendly way, grass fed beef, depending on what you want to. Something about the um, transparency there fits into that's that as well. That's exactly right. So you know where it's coming from. Absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah. Excellent. The Excellent. So if you write those down, and I'll, I'll, I'll start proceeding on to the next part. I love in the way Dougie's Burgers is evolving. And you're changing the fortunes of my imaginary company. Right. There's another economy, economy to consider is the smartness economy. Right. This is where similar to the early 1900s when we started embracing electricity. And there was a period of time when we were thinking, it's still gone to this very day, plugging in electricity to everything has to be electrified. And we see that right now with um, the smartness economy where we're thinking, how can we attach AI to everything? Everything's getting AI to make us smarter, right? So how can we think about the smartness economy, we just don't want to eat the burger. We want to get smarter with the burger. And some of the ideas might have already been captured there. So this was only two minutes. Think about how can we embrace the smartness economy model within Dougie's burger joint. Amongst yourself, just two minutes now because we're running short of time. Yeah? Have you already done it? Yeah, okay, cool. Have you got anything down for regarding the smartness economy? Any ideas? No. Yeah, I think um, you know, using AI to understand where best to source. Um, there you go. Can you add? Yeah, can you add? Yeah, yeah, just go straight to the board and add. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just go. Yeah, just go straight to the board and add. Yeah. Sourcing. Yeah, yeah. If you just say, if you speak to the mic, speak through the mic as well. Yeah. Okay. Anything you want to add to the smartness economy? I guess there's also personalised recommendations, right? Which is you know what you've bought. You before. can stay on the mic so you're covered, yeah. Do we? Yeah. I recommend real time. Yeah, yeah. I'm liking that. You just grab the mic as well, so your voice is captured. If you share share amongst the group, please. Real time production. Information. information. Yep. Immersive experience. Immersive experience. VR. Yeah. As you eat a burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what was the other one we said? We said a, a personalization. So, so recommendations based on what you've ordered previously. Yeah. Okay. So there's a learning component you're adding to that yeah. as well. Okay. Just don't get a robot to eat my burger, please. <laughs> Could make, could make one. Oh, remember what I said when you talk about with um, staffing, diversity, and all that kind of stuff. Robots are there, they're not sentient beings, but they have rights too. So you, so you could think about staffing robots in there as well. 
Because to improve my bottom line, I might need to cull some stuff. And if I get a process right, I can replicate the burger perfectly each and every time. Okay? Right, so let's, let's keep it moving. The third economy is the curate, match, and facilitate economy. So anybody that has, spot, has Spotify, show of hands if you've got Spotify, I understand what Spotify is. Right, so sometimes you listen to your music and it identifies your likes, yeah? And you think for yourself, as we discussed, that you search for that soundtrack, but you didn't. It knows your likes and interests, right? So the create, match and facilitate economy works on that same um, principles. It also works like when you're booking hotels, booking flights, it kind of knows what you're doing. So I think somebody else put it there, the learning yeah, already. Yeah. Unless anybody's got, show of hands, anything they want to add to that, where we can create, match something and facilitate. Like you had this burger before, like extra gherkins, you kind of want another one of extra workers. Entrance, it could weigh you. <laughs> yeah, it could weigh you. When you go to order that triple cheeseburger yeah. that you really want, it will suggest you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Because you're, no, that's you're good. Cross no, exactly. no, that's that's good. Can you write it down, please? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who knew? Who knew on this session you'd be doing homework? Yeah, you thought school was over. No. <laughs> Oh my God. That's taking that coffee type experience to the next level, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That personalized, was it laser? We wouldn't do laser print. How, how would you do that? Yeah, personalized burgers. Fantastic. Okay, I'll we'll keep clear of time before we get in trouble. Right. And the last one is, is like the learning economy, but I just want to talk to you about this company called Zen in, Chinese, in China. They're a clothing brand, and what they do is, in real time, they post different versions of outfits. And they put, put them on social media, and based upon the feedback, you can know whether or not to buy those jeans, buy that hoodie, whatever it is. And they continue to manufacture based upon real-time feedback. Instead of making things to order or making things in bulk, they don't do that. It's, it's purely based upon feedback in real time, what they, what they manufacture, and they're scaling at pace. So if you've got time, check them out. So any, any other ways that we can embrace this type of thinking for, to Dougie's burger joint? It's the fun, something like Chat GPT or some, or some form of AI to say why different suggestions of different types of recipes for burgers. Boom, that needs to go in there. That's excellent because McDonald's, our competitor, does this quite well. They have seasonal ranges of burgers, right? Yeah. Like they might have the Texas Delight. They might have the jerk chicken burger round about carnival time. Then you go there the wrong time, you, your flavour is not there. But you keep going until it comes back, don't you? Yeah? yeah? So there is something about that model that works in a rudimentary way for McDonald's, but we're going to take that to the next level. We're going to be able to produce burgers using artificial intelligence, AI, to generate new burger flavors and sensations every time somebody walks into the store. I think about when I, uh, um, I've had a few really good burgers. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but then you think, and I've had a few good, and I've written down the things that are inside them. I think I've never had, don't have to put that combination in something else again. So you almost want, it to remember what you've ordered before, allow it so you, you know what you've had and then you can try everything and every combination. It's like going to a beer festival and there's 300 different beers and you try and tick off as many as you can. <laughs> and you always want to do the same thing but with the, uh, everything they sell. Absolutely. So as, I, as we, we move into close, I'm going to read out. And if, you, if your kind help, we have changed the fortunes of Dougie's burger joint. The burger joint's mission is to transform itself into a tech, a tech hub burger joint where people can sit down, interact and engage and navigate the internet or web 3.0, whatever the case may be. It can also produce burgers to a specific calorie score based upon an input that the user has given it, 
either directly or indirectly, yeah? You'd be actually from being weighed at the entrance with AI giving feedback in a very culturally sensitive way, yeah? yeah? But if you, anyone knows sign language, if you say somebody's fat in sign language, you go fat, yeah? <laughs> right? You understand? 3D printed burgers, so the burgers itself is personalised, so we're taking a spin on you know, the coffee leaf shape or the Guinness um, leaf, whatever you could put, but the actual customer's face on the burger, that would be a good touch, right? Social transparency, so we can understand um, where the ingredients come from, sustainability is in there as well. The vibe, I like this word, the vibe, the street, street food vibe experience. You know, um, you can actually smell the street food, it's really nice. Bring back childhood magic. And as my colleague said that, if everyone noticed, his eyes lit up. He was in the zone. He was that kid again, which is excellent. This is what we need, right? Change the fortunes. Um, environmentally um, sa um, savvy. AI, AI sourcing strategy. So in real time, we are getting the ingredients at the best price from sustainable sources and, you know, all of that kind of stuff, yeah? Um, Real-time burger, revision, and if, yeah, so this is machine learning, so that they understand that what burger I've had before, so we can keep on iterating the burgers till you find the perfect burger, if there's such a thing, right? Talked a bit about staffing and sort of like robotics, bring robots in to help um, with the staffing, and I think that's about it, recommendations and personalization. So to wrap it up, businesses need to think about these new models. Um, in the transformational economy, the smartness economy, the match, facilitate economy, and the learning economy for any business to sustain itself moving forward. It was, it was a joke exercise, but if, as you can see, the richness of thought that You've, come, you've, you've just displayed. You go back to your workplace and ask yourself, have you really been that creative in embracing these new economic models to turn around the fortunes of your own organisations? And lastly, I want to conclude that I did say, I did set it out there, that diversity, thought of an experience was the very first thing we spoke about this morning. But that didn't feature at all in our list. Unless a robot, we could paint robots black, brown, yellow. Maybe that's what you were thinking, what we were thinking in that model. But it's just, it's just important to think about, we're leaders now, yeah? We gravitate to what's um, at the fore of our mind, yeah? Tip of our tongue, yeah? And I've got no doubt that Dougie's Burger Joint will be able to compete and, and outdo McDonald's. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.